שבת פרק ט"ז, משנה ג'. לאחר שלמדנו במשנה הקודמת, after we learned in the previous משנה, שאין מצילים בשבת מפני הדלקה, that we don't save on Shabbat because of the fire, אלא מזון שרודות שבת, we only allow to take the food for the, for the Shabbos meal, באה משנתנו להשמיע, המשנה comes to teach us, שיש ומצילים מזון הרבה, there is possible to save a lot of food. Why? <laughs> שכן, מה ששנינו שלוש שרודות בלבד, because when we said you only allowed to save three, feet, three meals, היינו במציל במקלים הרבה. When he says it in many vessels, שיש צורך לאוספם, because then you are busy and you, to gather them. או שהיה ממלא כלי ומוציאו ומערה ממנו וחזר וממלא או שנית. Or you take out a vessel, you put stuff inside, you take it out, and then you go back with the vessel, put exactly. stuff inside, and go inside. Oh, I forgot to do that. אבל המציל כלי אחד בהוצאה אחת, but if you take one vessel in one taking out, מותר להוציאו כשהוא מלא. You allow to take it when it's full. אף אם הוא מכיל זכויות הרבה, even if it contains many, many meals inside. עכשיו. מצילים מפני הדלקה בשבת, you allow to save If there's fire on Shabbat, sal male kikrot, a basket full of breads. You don't have to take three breads for three meals. Yeah. You can take the whole basket. Ho'il vehu mutziyo bevat achat, because he's taking it at one, at one shot outside. We're looking at how many times he's taking out. Ve'af al pish yesh bo mea seudot, even if though inside it can have a hundred meals. Kmo shibyalo lamil. Ve'igul shel dvela. Or a fruit cake, the fig. Okay. You don't have to take just for the three meals. You can take the whole cake. Te'enim udbakot yachad betzurat tegil. This is the figs stuck together in like a cake. Vechavit shel yayin is also allowed to take the whole barrel of wine. Av sheyesh beigu shel dvela u bechavit shel yayin yoter ma shetri shabbat. Even though they have more than what you need in this shabbat. And not only that, Now it can, con- it can continue and be tricky. And this is not just tricky and not allowed. It's tricky and allowed. What's the trickiness? Ve'omer ba'al ha'bayit la'acherim and the owner of the house can come and tell other people bo'u ve'atzilu lachem. Come and save for yourself. Hmm. Now we'll, we'll have to discuss this a little bit. Klomar, what does it mean? שהוא מפקיר להם את המזון. He says, look, it's all going to get burnt anyway. You might as well come and take your three meals out of here. שהוא מפקיר להם את המזון, שיצילו, that they're going to save it. וכל אחד ואחד מציל מזון שהוא צריך לו. And each one now has, is allowed to take the food that he needs. או כל מה שאפשר להוציא בהוצאה אחת. Or anything that he can take out at one shot. This guy can take the whiskey, that guy can take this one or that one. ואפילו הרבה סעודות, and this even for many meals. Now comes, but who does the food belong to after he takes it out? The oh, so obviously you said it's not mine, you're not allowed to take only but yours, but guys, it's going to get burnt, I might kill it. It is, belongs to everybody now. Whoever takes it out can take it. והמציל זוכה בו משום הפקר. And the one who takes it out has merit in it, he, he can own it because it became hefker. The guy gave it to anybody who wants it. ויש סוברים, there are those who says, שלאחרים מותר להציל אפילו בכלים מרובים. That for other people you're allowed to save even with many vessels. וכן לחזור ולהציל פעמים רבות. So in other words, you can say for the, this guy or for that guy, come back and forth. Why? Why are they allowed to go as many times as they want? You're allowed to take only three meals. But they are allowed to go in and out a hundred times to take a hundred whiskey bars. Why? What's the logic? Because they don't have uh, interest in this stuff. No? Very good. You're not afraid that they're going to put out the fire. 
He is oh. going to put out the fire because... Because he cares about his house. Staff. He's, He's staff. His staff. Wow. That's a, they don't care. They know each other. So they take the staff and they go. That's right. You're not afraid. So he's allowed to go just the three meals. And you're afraid that if he's going to get him more than that, he's going to go crazy. He's going to put a fire. They don't, they don't kill. They don't. So they don't have the danger that they might take out the fire. They so can go any time they want. That's, that's right. Time. In and out, as many times, not just for the three meals. Some say. Some say. Because they're not worried. And there's no worry. Maybe they're going to extinguish it. The Gemara says, "Ve'im hayu pikrim." If these guys were smart, in other words, they were smart people. But Gemara mevuar in the Gemara it explains, "Shemedubar kan bemetzili mirei shemaim." We're talking about people who say who, do, who care about Shabbos and they fear heaven. We're not talking about somebody who doesn't care. In other words, you're allowed to do it, and you should do it this way, even though it's Shabbos. What you have to do? שאינם רוצים ליהנות מאחרים. So, the, the thing is like this. No, הם לא רוצים לקחת. They don't want to take his stuff. They're not interested. They can help him then. Oh, wait, wait. Let's see. וכיוון שיודעים הם שלא מרוצונו הפקיר בעל הבית את מה שהם הצילו, they know that he's not really הפקר. It's only הפקר because it is forced to it. It's like אנוס. That's why it's הפקר. He's like, he's forced into giving away all his stuff, but he didn't really give away his stuff. So it says they're, they're going to return, they're going to save everything for him, all the food, okay. and then they're going to give it to him back. But this is an interesting part. But they don't want to work for free. It says we're going to work now for six, seven hours, we want our money back after that. You at, at least give us like a poel socher or something. To work on Shabbos? Yeah. <laughs> Very good. To work on Shabbos. To yeah. work on Shabbos? To work on Shabbos. Really to get uh, money to, on Shabbos? To get money on Shabbos. The Mishnah comes to teach us that if they were smart when it comes to monetary values, they know that there is no to get and they knew that there's no prohibition to take um, the money for, it's like, it's called in English, money for my time. Uh, I'm, not for the value, at least pay for my time. You, you, you know, some businessmen, um, you ask them for a favor. Okay. Yeah, so said, at least, you know, you know what, pay, pay for my time, if, if it costs cost you more. <laughs> no, 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 I'm talking about someone who wants to do you a favor, really. Okay. Yeah. For, for example, you, you ask a guy, uh, take me to the auction to buy a car. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Usually he, he charges a thousand dollars extra. Okay. At least give, give me for my time. I'm going to be. Yeah. Whatever it is. Why? Lefisha ain't the Shabbat because you it is not considered to be a payment for Shabbat. Why? Kevan shelo al menat ken ba'u mitchial atzil. The truth is they didn't save it in order to earn money. They save it because to help the guy. Oh, there, was no, there was no... They didn't... They, if, if we be careful to begin with, the, when he start to do this, that's right, he, he doesn't did. do it he, for himself, to do it for Balabai. For the other mind. But, yeah, but he knows, look, after, after the case, the guy is going to give me my money. Yeah. He's, going to, he's going to pay me. He's allowed to do that. He says, don't worry about it. <laughs> In other words, they're, they're making a collation. Look, in truth, it belongs to me. Right? I don't want it though. So what I'm going to do after Shabbos, I'm going to take it for me, so-called for me, but after Shabbos, I'm going to give it back to the guy. Yeah? And he's going to pay me for my, uh, my, my work and that I did. But not to make money on Shabbos? No. The, the, there, is a, there is a little bit. Meaning? There is a little bit, but the main, it, the question is, what's the main kavanah? The main kavanah is to save him money. But I'm not going to do it for free. To help you. Yeah, I'm not going to... But why not do it for free? If but, I say mitzvah kvar, why am I not for free? Very good question. So it's possible, there's, ma- there's many, many explanations for this. I think the main explanation is, think about it this way. If it happened to someone who's not Jewish, 
Would you walk on Shabbat for that? Maybe if he's not Jewish, no. Probably not. So in other words, you're not doing it really. You do it because it's your yeah, father. That's right. The only reason why you're doing it is because, but it, but you are endangering. You know, you you you, you, you it's work. It's this. Well, it is. So at least you you have enough to give the money. Some say it's actually saving him money. So it says, what, what is it? Actually, it belongs to you. The 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 zero. Or, according to some opinion, the, the way you read it like this, you go in, you take all the food, yeah, and after the Shabbos, you pay him for the food. He pay you? No, 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 you pay him for the food. It's exactly the opposite. Some you say. You pay him? Yeah, you use this food. That's oh, the reward. So you have to pay him? Or? You use this food, right? Oh, it says you want it. Oh. You want to save his money, right? So you take it. So you, the, the guy is. Some some people read it this way, but that's not the simple explanation. The simple explanation is like we said. Some say they read this Mishnah is I'm going to take the, the money out, and after Shabbos I used your money. I used your food. food Here, here's some money. In other words, I'm saving you money. It's not like I'm worried about the five dollars that you're going to pay me as a as a whatever you pay. You know, someone who schleps for an hour. $5 an hour or $10 an hour, whatever it is. And now they return to him everything. So, they make with him the calculation after Shabbat. And they take... It's kind of an incentive to help the guy. That's right. The way. That's right. And Shabbos, it's, it's a tricky thing here. Yeah, that's right. It's a very tricky now, Lehechan Matsilimotam, where are they allowed to take all these foods and drinks? Etamachalim Vamashkaot, all the food and drinks. So if the Khatzer is not we we, we said for um, if you remember for Sefer Torahs, even if the Khatzer is not Meurevet, you're allowed to. Okay. Over here, you, if it's a Khatzer not Meurevet, you wouldn't yeah. be allowed to, if there's no Eruv. But if it doesn't, only to a chatzer, which has an eruv, you will be allowed to. La chatzer ha-meurevet, she'asa ba-iruv, that he made in it eruv, she'ken be-mazron, nechmirum b'kidvei kodesh. When it comes to food, it's more strict than with Sefer Torahs. K'mo she'biyano le'il. Sefer Torah is more strict. No, 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 food is more strict. Food, if you don't have an eruv, you can take it out. That's right, so food is more strict. Sefer Torah is more strict. Torah is more strict. Yeah. To, in Torah, it's more lenient, oh. not more strict, more lenient. You're allowed to take yeah. it out in even Torah. without an Eruv. Exactly. Food, you need Eruv. Yeah, we, we just, we say the same thing, but just, okay. we, we, we are. Ben Betera Omer, we meant the same thing. I don't know if we said the same thing, but we meant the same thing. Ben Betera Omer, Ben Betera says, food is just like Sefer Torah, there's no difference. Afle hmm. Sheina Mu'revet, he says, we're going to, Ben Betera, I will allow even food, even to an Amorevet, Mutar Latzin Mazon Af Lechatzer Shlaso Be'eruv. You're allowed to take um, food, even to a Chatzer, to a yard without an Eruv. Ve'alacha Ketanakama, de'alacha Ketanakama, that is a difference between Sefer Torah and food. Okay. Ve'yesh mevarim et ha'piskavim ayu pikhim. Oh, I think it's going to say what I said. And there are those who say the verse, if they were smart, in another manner completely. That if they were smart, those people who save, they know that the guy doesn't actually want to give them the food as a present. He means it, save it for me. In other words, I'm going to lose all my money. Yeah? What does it mean to make a calculation with him? They're going to eat it, or they're going to take it. Even they're going to take it for their homes, whatever they want for after Shabbos, whatever they need it, and they're going to pay for him afterwards. Either they give it to him back, or they're going to pay him the money, the value of it afterwards. And they paid it to him. That's the explanation that I explained, but that's not the simple explanation. Okay. The simple explanation is, after Shabbos, give me, give me some cash for my hard work. Okay. Yeah. But there is Hasidim 
that may, they need the food, they took the food already, so we'll pay for it. Yeah. So Hasid, who know he took it from him, he knows how much it worth, and yeah. he pays for And the, the truth is he doesn't need to, because he saved right. it for himself. But nevertheless, I know you lost money, I'm going to give it to you. My question is, is, is very simple. Why can't, if I have a fire, why can't I tell all my neighbors, help me, help me, take my food away? You can, that's exactly what you're saying. I'm not as scared. It's still my food. I'm not as scared. Oh, because you, you are hiring them. Breaking uh, you shadows? You're hiring them. You're hiring them. What, what, what do you mean take my food? You're allowed to take three foods. That's it. What, what, it's not your food. And they're allowed to take their, their three. Food. But not for... for but like not. if they have care? What if I didn't have care? What if I didn't say? My food is healthy. So they're your they messenger. Their so skin. they're your messenger. That you're not taking three foods. If the, another one takes another meal, now you're taking fourth meal. I'm taking the food for you. No, no. I took my three meals. That's right. Okay, now I don't say nothing. Mm -hmm. People come, they see their fire. I didn't say health care. They went in and they took also food. They didn't hear me. I say health care. Well, now they took food by themselves. They see fire. They know. They can't. It's your, it's, your, it's your stuff, but it's stealing. So it would be stealing. Yeah, what, what do you mean? I can go to your house and take th uh, things out? In the fire. So they understand. They burn anyway, they know they're not so, able so, so, Oh, so there's an understanding, <laughs> there, there, there's an understanding that whatever is in the fire is Hefka. Uh -huh. It's gone. That's the understanding. Yeah, because it's gone. It's, it, it's going to get burnt. Everybody knows it. You, you, you know what it's like? If you threw a, a vase, you know, a Chinese vase off the roof, right? So you threw it off the roof. And I came and I see a Chinese vase falling like and I break it with a baseball bat. And then you, you, you come over to me and say, hey, it was $50,000. Give me $50,000. <laughs> the question is, do I have to pay $50,000? Because I broke it. So the answer, no, it was, he, he, it was already going to break. The same thing with the fire. It was already when meant to be. You, they yeah. know you cannot say it's it's yours. It's not yours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the idea. And that's, I mean, 